Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, Princeton Trader, here for Mr. Top Step with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, non-farm payroll jobs report. That is as bad as it gets. I mean, short of a negative report, uh, 69,000 was the number. The adjustments for the last two months were basically cut in half. So we have half of the jobs in March and April that we thought we had, plus we just did 69,000 for May. So then, then the concern is, well, is the real number for May 35? So we've gone down to make a low at 1280. We've rallied back up 1284 half. Um, are we overdone? Well, I guess, but I mean, really all we've done now is we've moved back down to test and go below that 1287 level, the level that the bears needed to get under in order to start to press their advantage. Um, at this point, there's going to be a little bit of a bounce. What I'm going to be watching today uh, is can the bulls get back up to 1296, which is the pre-announcement uh, level, and get through there. So basically your playing field today is 1296 to 1280. If the bulls can get back above 1296 this afternoon and close above, then you have to say that you know the jobs report ends up being a buy because things are so bad that you know we just you know QE forever. I mean you know QE three, uh, you know is is just the beginning. Um, at the same time, if we break 1280 and we close down on lows today, then you have to start looking at some lower numbers like 1273, 1253 as uh, areas where um, uh, we could be headed. It, it really looks like now on the daily that this market wants to trade below the 200-day exponential moving average uh, up at 1312. Uh, with that being the case, um, you have got to have a sell the rips mentality. The current low print is 1280, and the 45-day pivot coming into today is 1337. So at this moment, with uh, with the low print, we are 57 handles below the 45-day pivot. That is overbought. Uh, it's when uh, it's it's stretched. Plus 60 is is uh, is overbought. So from a pivot perspective, which is my which is my domain, we are getting to the point where we are oversold, severely oversold. If we get down to 1277, which is an area that people have looked at for some time. So maybe a little bit of a dip below on regular trading hour open to 1277, maybe even 1273, and then you see a little bit of a relief rally. So that's, that's a couple of things that I'm looking at uh, right now. Let's do, uh, let's do support and resistance. Current trade, 1284.75, uh, 1283.50, 1281.16, uh, 1277, 1273 on the downside. On the upside, you've got uh, 1287 quarter, 1292 half, 1298, 1302, uh, 130520, and the daily pivot uh, up at 1307.42. So be careful in this environment. I know we're down, but I don't think the market has really decided what it wants to do with this. The initial reaction is going to be down. A lot of that is stops. Now we have to see what the real reaction is to this jobs number. Sell it off or rally because we think the Fed is going to be there forever. So there are way more questions than there are answers today. I think that's the main point I want to make here. Way more questions than there are answers. So just be careful out there. Have a good weekend. I'll be back Monday morning with another webcast. Trade and well, everybody.